What is the worst movie you've ever seen? No, I'm not talking about Transformers 2 or Grown Ups 2. I mean a movie so bad, so fundamentally broken, that it leaves a pit in your stomach or makes you feel frustrated and angry beyond any reasonable measure. This is a question I've been asking myself for a while, and I think it's about time to do something about it. So I've pulled up the list of the bottom 100 lowest rated movies on IMDb, and I'm going through them one by one to find the worst movie ever. Welcome to the search for the worst. Seeing as it's Christmas time or something, I thought it might be a suitably festive idea to do a search for the worst Christmas special. Actively defying the movie wheel again might not be a good idea, but I'll get to that shitty Bill Cosby movie some other time. This, this is time for Santa Claus Conquers the Martians, which surprisingly turned out to be one of the greatest movies I've ever seen. And by greatest, I mean it was fucking terrible. Unfortunately, it's one of those movies that sounds much better than it really is. I had to inject myself with doses of highly concentrated caffeine halfway through the movie because it was so fucking boring. And with that, let's find out exactly what greatness this movie has going on, or lack thereof. Most Christmas songs are horrible, repetitive, whiny things that make you want to hang yourself. And the one at the beginning of this movie is no exception. Don't you hear? That high-pitched, annoying American child voice is the audio equivalent of scraping a cheese grater over dried, sunburnt skin. And with that being said, at least the title of the movie sounds kind of amazing. Santa Conquering the Martians? Can you think of anything better? I certainly can, but that's not the point. Too bad there's very little conquering in this movie. There isn't even that much Santa, come to think of it. While the news is playing on this TV, we immediately get a twist. It's not annoying Earth children watching TV, it's annoying Martian children instead. They're watching this dude hanging out in the North Pole at Santa's workshop. I guess in this universe, Spoilers for life, everyone. Santa actually does exist and isn't a cruel conspiracy enforced by every parent on the planet. Hello again? Hello again? Well, this guy's a fucking creep. Hello, boys and girls! <laughs> I hate it when Santa breaks the fourth wall. It's the only time he does it in the whole movie as well. I know it's supposed to be the news, but... Fuck you, Santa. Do you think you'll be ready by Christmas Eve? Well, we've never disappointed the kids yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, what about that time you left me an empty bottle of mouthwash? A rental copy of that shitty movie Dreamcatcher? A human skull and some wet tissues? That was pretty disappointing. This is Mrs. Claus. Uh, we're dear. We're on television. How do you do, Mr. Anderson? Ma'am? Now, I want you to go and finish painting those hobby horses. Television? Did you say we we're on television? Oh, oh dear! Oh, why didn't you tell me? Oh, my hair's a mess! Mm. <laughs> Hello there! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Luckily, Winky the Elf has made a toy Martian because movie. Winky is in charge of our space department. Ah, I've been wondering, what is this strange little creature over here? Oh, uh, Winky made that. That's his idea of a Martian. The only reason this is even mentioned is so later on Winky can say, Hey look, it's a Martian. Those are Martians! When they turn up at the workshop. <laughs> turn up. Turn up that I am so scared right now. Did he just forcibly point at the door to open it? That is the least practical, most ridiculous use of future technology that could possibly be implemented. So this is the Martian planet, I guess, Mars. Where the story is, the Martian parents are worried about their children because they don't get to experience Christmas. Or something. That kid looks fucking terrified. And clearly, with that setup, it's time to shove in a ton of space mumbo-jumbo sci-fi bullshit by the Council of Martians going to summon Cho Chum, an 800-year-old Martian man, because they need his advice. Why don't you go to the forest and see Chochum, the Ancient One? He'll know what to do. He's never failed you. We need you, Chochum. What do you mean it makes no sense? When Martians need advice, they have to summon Chochum. Have you not been paying attention? What time of year is it now? It is the middle of September. Oh, fuck off, September. Out of everything they could have called Mars months, they just combined the two worst months of the year. What is a Christmas? It is an occasion for great joy and peace on the planet Earth.
And with that, we get about five minutes of exposition dump. Meaningless information that adds nothing to the movie at all. Eventually, the Martians decide to nightmare before Christmas this joint by planning to steal Santa. Earth has had Santa Claus long enough. We will bring him to Mars. This retard Martian sneaks on board because comedy, and then a bunch of stock footage of US Air Force aircraft is shown for some reason. It was about this time, 20 minutes in, that I realized that it wasn't going to be a very good Christmas movie, or just a very good movie, full stop. This movie has Starman syndrome. There isn't really a main character or anything palpable you can follow, because now randomly these two kids are introduced for some reason, because the target audience needs someone to relate to, I suppose. The Martians kidnap the kids because they don't want anyone to find out about their plan, and the kids tell them where to find Sansa. <laughs> going to kidnap Santa Claus. And us too. Do you want to try that again? That was fucking awful. Absolutely, unbelievably terrible. Once they land at the North Pole, the highly advanced interplanetary space travel alien technology has a clumsy, wobbly ladder for them to all climb down. That is definitely a safety hazard, kids. Don't slip and get eaten by a guy in an atrocious polar bear outfit. Oh yeah, there's this part where the kids run away and nearly get mauled by one of the most dangerous animals on the planet. You finished, chief? Yes, I am, and you will be too if you're not careful. This bloke looks absolutely fucking thrilled to be in this movie, doesn't he? Having a right ball. And it'll be harder for us to find Santa's workshop. I'm scared. Jesus Christ, she's so terrible. So there was a robot walking around the North Pole, I guess? So once the Martians break into Santa's workshop with the robot, who picks up an elf for some reason, they start to threaten everyone with space weapons. You can't take him now, it's too near Christmas. Quiet, you. But... Really? So this is Troll 2 now, is it? Look at them trying to keep still. Poor sods. So once they steal Santa and take him on board their ship to go back to Mars, they tell a funny joke. What's soft and round, and, and you put it on a stick, and, and you toast it in a fire, and it's green. I don't know, what? <laughs> a Martian <bell. laughs> That is the worst the most cringy, least funny joke I've ever heard in my entire life. Meanwhile, Santa's trying to be some kind of comedian as well, thinking he's a really funny man telling all these stories. It wasn't a chimney at all. It was the smokestack of the Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> what in God's name was that? It's like he was trying to laugh, but he couldn't do it, so he just sort of painfully wheezed for a few seconds. The Santa screams of nothing but desperation and pity. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that one of the Martians was against this plan from the beginning because he's pretty much the Grinch. I'm against it. Our children are fine the way they are. And therefore the villain of the movie, who tries to murder everyone at least one or two times in a couple of excruciating, boring scenes where you know exactly what's going to happen. And then eventually the Martian leader gets fed up with a baddie asshole. Alrighty. Don't you think that that grab was more of a going in for a kiss kind of grab? More than a I'm angry and want to threaten you kind of grab. It would certainly be a bit more interesting if these Martian assholes start going at it out of nowhere, but they have a little fight instead. Finally, Santa, who for some reason has not really come to terms with the fact that he's been kidnapped to serve his new masters, decides that it's about time for him to go home. And then the Martians are all like, no, you're going to stay here. And Santa's just like, oh, all right then. He's doing a stellar job of conquering those Martians, I tell you what. The Martians have these laughable alien customs, the best being this thing they do for affection where they touch heads. And at one point he goes in with a bit too much force and he's he smacks his son's head with his comically moronic helmet thing. Children, I brought some visitors. So the retarded Martian has a little spazzy fit, and then Santa's put to work producing toys for the Martian children who are not actually children at all, meaning the whole endeavor is completely pointless from the get-go. We have no children on Mars. They have children's bodies, but with adult minds. He has this machine where he presses buttons and toys pop out of these little flaps. Like the little girl reads off a list of shit that some Martian kid wants, and Santa makes them materialize with crazy Martian technology. And even despite this, the Martian machine is terribly designed. It's the most retarded fucking idea ever conceived. <laughs> This would never fit you. Why, you have to fatten up first. <laughs> <laughs> Those children are clearly laughing out of fear. Pure terror. No, no, I'm not tired. But my finger is. Well, well that's a bit worrying. Good night. Has someone been mistreating you? Christ, this really has gone in a weird direction, hasn't it? The stupid, dumb, idiot Martian dresses up as Santa. I hate this character so fucking much. I hate him. Ho, ho, ho! My finger isn't tired. Oh god. Luckily he gets captured and abused by the baddies before he can do anything. Das 
Stay put, my fat little friend. Hey, Sid, how do you like this toy? <laughs> Droppo's gone, your suit is missing, and now this machine's been sabotaged. Put them all together, it spells Voldar. No, it spells Drabo go and the uh, suits missing and now with this machine is sabotaged, you fucking idiot. Right, so they fight the baddie in a terrible little fight scene, and the moron Martian takes over as Santa so the kids and Santa can go back home to Earth. <laughs> Well, that sucked. I think the biggest problem with this movie is that I was hoping and waiting for Starman to show up. Or maybe even a salamander. Anything. But no such luck. It was just bad, unfunny comedy and horrible Christmas bullshit. I still don't really understand why it's called Santa Claus Conquers the Martians. He gets captured and made into a slave, and the only reason he gets away is because one of the other Martians takes over his job. He didn't do shit but walk around trying to be funny. The worst thing, though, is how this movie's nothing. It's one of those 5 out of 10 movies, totally harmless, inoffensive kid bullshit from the early 60s. It's certainly not the worst thing I've seen, but there's nothing even remotely enjoyable in its hour and 20 minute running time. It just sucks. So that's part one of the two Christmas themed videos I have planned. You can probably guess what the other one's hopefully gonna be. Hopefully I'll be able to get it done. You know what this time of year is like, it's a complete manic rush. Oh, and the movie wheel was purposefully not in this one because I'll go back on track to Leonard part six or whatever it's called. But anyway, what do you think? Did you actually like the way that this movie looked? Or did it look like horrible flaming garbage to you? Tell me in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. All comments and ratings are appreciated. I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> Hello there! <laughs>